all today we'll do a quick uh, demo of how to use the LED star AQ store app to connect and configure one of the app enable lights from LED star I have an AQN unit right here with me at this time uh, it's exactly the same process for any of the other lights that are app enabled from LED star uh, the JR WS Z or S series any of them if, uh, if you notice, I have the uh, Bluetooth controller connected to the light. The power adapter is uh, connected to the wall power source, but I haven't connected them um, yet. Uh, and there is a reason for that. So before that, let me uh, start the app. Uh, I'm using the iOS app, which has been launched uh, recently. This is uh, towards the end of March of 2021. Uh, the Android app has been out for a while. They are pretty much identical and uh, you know the, there are some differences which I believe they're working on to get parity on to. Uh, one of the things, the app itself, uh, it's not super touch sensitive in certain areas. I don't know why, but uh, so it, it sometimes can be a little frustrating, but uh, you know, uh, this is not an app I use every day uh, too many times. So, you know, uh, I, I can live with it. But uh, the app overall is pretty versatile. You can do a lot of stuff with it. Uh, let's let me open it up. Um, so I click it, open it up. Uh, this is the screen uh, which will show you um, all the lights that you have currently uh, added to the app. Um, if you are opening the app for the first time, it will take you to a sign up screen. You have to sign up with LED Star. Once you sign up, we'll come to this screen. This is one of the two screens that they have. Uh, this is the devices uh, screen. Uh, if you see on the bottom uh, left, and then there is a my uh, tab as well. We'll look at it separately. And this will be empty first time uh, with the button at the top right to add a new light. And uh, here you see six units to each of uh, AQN, WS, and J series that I have already added. Uh, now, if I click to add a new light it takes me to this uh, second screen where it shows all the uh, powered lights app enabled lights that are currently in the Bluetooth range of this uh, phone and you can see all the six units uh, that I already have they are showing up although I have added them they still show up there so the problem is if I have a new unit to add uh, if I come to the screen it will be confusing uh, as to which one I should click to add and that is why I do not connect uh, the new units Bluetooth controller to the power until they come to the screen so let me go ahead and um, add the new uh, or power on the new um, AQN unit you can see that the existing ones are at the bottom of the screen uh, two of them uh, once I connect the Bluetooth controller with the power adapter I don't know if you could tell there was a brief blink the light itself uh, and that's uh, the way the light uh, indicates that it is getting power uh, and that's how uh, they're supposed to work uh, at the same time on the screen on the uh, app I also see a new AQ uh, and pop up uh, at the right side so I know this is the new one so it's easy for me to detect the new ones if you have multiple units and that's why I didn't connect the Bluetooth controller to the power adapter at the beginning of it. So uh, let me go ahead and click on the new one and add it. There you go. So the new one got added, uh, shows up at the bottom of the screen. Now I can go ahead and start setting up scenes for it. So, uh, or actually before I show how to set up uh, scenes, uh, I will show how to you know, remove a unit or rename it. So long press on the icon. It gives you a menu where you can, um, I don't know what the process has, I haven't tried it out, uh, but you can you, uh, click the rename to rename the unit uh, and uh, or delete it using the delete uh, option over here. And you can see my other units over here, I have renamed them. I'm not going to rename this one for now. So let's go ahead and uh, set up the scene. 
click as soon as I come on the screen uh, you, you notice that the slide is on now uh, that's because uh, I have already played around with this unit and set a screen uh, set a scene so that's the one that by default it's uh, 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 got uh, activated uh, from the controller but otherwise uh, it would still be off at this point in time and uh, on this screen you will see six uh, built-in scenes uh, the fully on uh, green plants red plants mosses pusphalandras and paludariums uh, the background of the screen will be gray uh, at, 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 uh, at the beginning uh, once you set a screen that screens picture will uh, show as a blurred image uh, in the background as you see so i believe i might have played around either with the moss or the green plant i don't remember which one that's showing up over here so you can uh, use any of the built-in scenes uh, i will show a little later uh, what those specifications are and uh, they work for most uh, in a most purposes but if you want to have a custom scene of your own uh, there are two ways to do it uh, you see the two buttons at the bottom uh, for uh, the f fast setting and the professional so let's do the fast setting and uh, see how that one works so here uh, you will see a time bar or a graph at the top 24 hours uh, of time period and um, at, uh, below that are four uh, rule or four uh, drag rulers bars whatever to set the intensity of each of the four channels of light uh, and a few buttons we'll talk about each of them so uh, what you set on this four channels uh, signifies the peak intensity on that graph at the top so uh, you know I'll just play around to show you how it changes uh, you, you can see the change in the light itself so uh, if you noticed I've got white all down uh, blue all down green all down so it's now red and then red all down oops I don't know why it's yep so if I put on green on blue white there is a little lag over here there you go white again uh, seems to be I am having a lag in sending the information from the phone to the device but you can see how it changes so let's say I keep it at 50% of red uh, let's say 80% of green 80% of blue and 100% of white that's my peak setting uh, so you see how the graph changes and uh, you know the sunrise time is when I want to set the time uh, for the sunrise let's say we'll put it at 8 in the morning sunset we'll put at 5 in the evening or 5 30 And the gradient is uh, an increment of half an hour for the ramp up and the ramp down of the time I'll leave it at half an hour uh, which is the default so let's leave it that and uh, now you can see how the graph changed uh, you know uh, so 730 it will start ramp up over half an hour to peak intensity at 8 uh, go on that way till 530 and then ramp back to 0 at 6 p.m. so let's try and do a preview again the preview might not work uh, sometimes because of the lag between the uh, Bluetooth uh, uh, information being sent uh, but let's try it and see how it, if it works yep 
so you can definitely see there is a lag uh, do it once again yep so you can see uh, and the reason uh, you see the lag is because this signal is being sent directly from the phone once you save it and you set the program or the scene for the light that information is saved on the bluetooth controller uh, that is attached to the lights power source and uh, you don't need the phone to be on or close to the uh, light at the at that time it can work uh, according to the program uh, so let's go ahead and save this uh, i'll name it test and commit so you see test being set over there it uh, puts a new uh, image for itself and it uh, is preset for the light uh, now you see the edit icon on the top uh, I can click on that it will show uh, a icon um, on the test which is the custom scene that I had created uh, it won't uh, show it for the built-in scenes I can click on that and uh, you know there is a few things I can do I can delete the scene I can rename it I can change the picture to something that I want so you know I can uniquely identify it and of course I can edit the settings so I'll cancel out of it so if you see uh, you know when I do a red plant the light changes the background on the app changes and then I do a test again the light changes and the background also changes so that's that's how it works uh, pretty straightforward let's look at the professional setting I don't use it a whole lot but uh, there are some scenarios where you can use it specifically if you want to have a night light and a daylight setting so here uh, you know you can uh, do individual setting at different times of the day uh, and you know uh, specify what intensity each of the four channels would be at that point in the day so let's say uh, at midnight or at the beginning of the day I can't really go that close but towards the beginning of the day I want all lights to be off except the blue which should be about uh, 40 and uh, at around uh, 7 30 I still want it to be at 40 and at 8 I want it to be 100% 100% so daylight that goes on roughly until sometimes at 5 p.m. and when everything is still at peak then half an hour later everything goes back to zero except blue which goes back to 40 and at the end of the day I keep blue again at 40 so that's uh, so you know I have night light from midnight till 7 30 then everything goes to uh, peak over a half an hour period stays there for uh, evening and at evening everything goes back down uh, except for blue which goes to 40 percent and stays that way for the rest of the evening uh, so let's play it and see how that looks All right, so that's uh, you know that's what you can do with the professional setting. Uh, you know uh, I haven't used it, but uh, always an option. And uh, of course you can save it. Uh, I'm not going to save it uh, for this demo, so we'll come out of it. Uh, as far as the functions are concerned, uh, that's all uh, you know there is to. Uh, going to the second tab, uh, which is my. Uh, 
you know it uh, lets you log out and log back in with a different account if you have one there is some other information like privacy and device updates the last one over here is data for the uh, pre-saved scene so these are all the built-in scenes um, you can see all six of them over here and uh, you know if you want to uh, know like what those settings are this is where you come and see it uh, so uh, that's that's the last thing about it so uh, that concludes this video uh, comment below and uh, let us know how you liked it and uh, thank you for watching it uh, like the video if you like the content uh, share it and uh, uh, consider subscribing to our channel that really helps so that's all for this edition take it easy bye now